So folks, I wanted to keep going on my whole seed thing that I've got going on. Um, I told you I was going to put rose of Sharon seeds into a pill bottle. I just kind of left them hanging out there. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that. Uh, rose of Sharon seeds, as far as I know, do not need any cold stratification, but I am thinking about putting them um, into the refrigerator anyway for the winter, or at least a couple months here before I plant them. Um, the seeds aren't wet or anything, so they can just sit in here until I'm ready to plant them. And it won't get hurt. So there is a Rose of Sharon pill bottle. Different colors, different styles. It'll be a nice pretty thing once I get them going. Um, the other thing that I have going that I'd like to try from seeds are apples. I'll put a couple apple trees over on the side yard. And uh, there's a good view there of apple seeds. Basically, I took them out of these apples right here. These apples have only one seed. Some had three, some had six. Um, so they've come out pretty easy. You just do a basic cut into the middle and pry into it and that's not a seed. Like I said, these apples don't really have that many seeds. It is a variety that my daughter likes. There's one. So I figured I'd plant them and see how it goes. I know it's going to probably be about five, six years before I actually get any significant apples on the trees. But so what? It'll be fun to watch them grow. And I've got nothing better to do with my time than to grow stuff for the fun of it. And I got the space in the yard, so I might as well use it. Um, now, as I've taken these seeds out, I've noticed a number of them are a tad moldy and or have stuff on them from the apple and they're a little moist um, so before i do much else with them i am going to get this here slightly damp napkin and kind of want to clean off these seeds a little tiny bit because if I'm going to leave them sitting in the refrigerator because apple seeds do need a little bit of cold stratification to germinate and I don't want them getting moldier than they already are so I am going to clean these seeds before I put them into a little baggie, which I've got handy here. I'll show that in just a second. And seems to be cleaning them pretty decently. I just don't want to have lots of vegetation or starting of mold. 
to make things a little better as we get started here. So, I have heard of people um, taking a knife and nicking the uh, hard part of the shell of the apple and or taking sandpaper and rubbing down some of the shell to help it actually sprout. Um, the best I can tell is it's not necessary. Uh, they grow anyway. And mostly they grow out of the little tip. There's a round end and a tip end. Um, so the root's going to come out of that tip end, find itself where it's going to find itself, and the rest of it's going to take care of itself in nature. Um, so two cold stratify these. I've got this here very small baggie. I'm not trying to germinate them in the refrigerator. I just want them to think it's been winter. So we're going to be taking this set up here and making a little pocket that will slide it in and out nicely of the baggie. Um, I've heard some people say, oh, put a little bit of water on there. you got to keep them a little tiny bit damp. So if you want to do that just to have a little tiny bit of dampness in there. That's wonderful. That's all it's going to need for cold stratifying. Um, And then you take your baggie right on it. Green apple. And the date 10, 5, 18. And go sit that in your refrigerator for however long you want to do it, six weeks, a couple of months, it's fine. You're going to want to keep checking on them at least once a week. Um, not more as time goes on. The longer it's been, the more you should do it because you want to, A, make sure that there's no mold growing, and B, if you start to see these little guys starting to root, you're going to want to put them in dirt. Um, now apples, when you get them in dirt, you don't want to transplant them very much because they've got a tap root. And that tap root um, basically determines how tall and strong that tree is going to end up being. Um, and if you have it in a little tiny pot like I've got I've started my other seeds, I have it in one of those that tap roots can hit the bottom and start to curl, and you really don't want that um, because it will stump the growth and the height of your tree, uh, which might not be bad if you don't really want a big tree, but um, it might also take longer for it to be strong enough to support fruit. So. Um, when I put these in pots, I'm going to put them in nice tall pots, and um, they should be able to grow in that kind of a setting for at least a couple of months until springtime when I can put them outside and give them a permanent home, and they can grow. So, that's going to be my apple orchard. This is only one type of apple I'm probably going to get. At least one other kind. I might get a one of those golden delicious or um, a just general red apple type, um, depending. Um, I don't want to have too big of a orchard over that way. Um, but this will be fun to see a little apple orchard grow from scratch. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like all the others. Take the time to uh, da, 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 my finger.
hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that notification, and uh, leave a comment because I like to talk to people. And so far, not really getting much engagement. I'd really like to talk to people. It's better than talking to the seeds. Anyway, I will see you in the next one. Hopefully, um, I, I am almost at, I am at, actually, two weeks on the um, bamboo seed germination. So they could start popping out any time now. Um, I did have an incident where we got a new kitty, little tiny baby one, um, and the um, kitty knocked over a pot. And so I looked inside for the seed and found it and saw that it had a little white bump on, on it. And so it looks like the bamboo seed is trying to um, b bust out of its little shell and get going. So I'm thinking that we're going to get at least a few out of this uh, bamboo project, which is a good thing for the world in my backyard in my world the death house uh, <laughs> all right take it easy everybody we'll see you in the next one